Morning guys. Um, so yeah, I'm in a van. Uh, I've managed to commandeer my parents' pride and joy VW Transporter van. Just went to see a fellow called Thomas Heaton last night. Um, I won't say much about it. I think anyone watching this channel probably knows who he is and what he does. Um, it was just a little presentation in the evening that I'd put together. And it's really good, really enjoyed it. I'm feeling inspired. Um, sure, I thought while I'm in the area, in West Yorkshire, this is, I'd come down, bring the van, and do a bit of uh, like location photography, really. So I got online on the forums, started asking for a few places to recommendations not that you can see much <laughs> but I'm at a place called Lum Hall which looks like a great little waterfall site uh, just north of Hebden Bridge um, unfortunately it is pouring down and it has been for a little while I've been up since about half six this morning it's now about quarter past eight so I'm literally just waiting for the rain to ease off a bit which I think it will do soon but until then I'm on the cuppa I'm just waiting for it to all go away Stranger Things season two let's go Right folks, I made that out of the van, uh, I was waiting and waiting, it was just never going to stop, so I just kitted up four waterproofs, not just myself, and it's pretty mega down here, glad I came now, even if I wasn't taking any photos, I'm glad I came down, it's been raining loads, so pretty powerful waterfall right now. Uh, it's not just the one either. We've got the main one going under the bridge. There's a tributary one here. And then behind me, you can see another one there. Uh, there's another one further down that you can't quite see. But yeah, this is ace, seriously. So I composed the shot. I've gone super wide here. I'm using I'm at 11 mil on a crop sensor. Uh, using the Tahina 11 to 16 2.8. Um, so I can sort of show you what I'm looking at. I'm focus stacking this. We've got water just lapping over this rock here with all the moss and stuff. That's my closest focus point. And next, I've gone to this boulder here with the water swirling around it. And then finally, of course, we've got the main waterfalls up at the top there. So I've taken three images uh, and I'll process them in Lightroom first and then Photoshop to stack them focus wise and I'll stick that up in a second. Okay. I'm not using any filters at all here because I'm stopping down to f8 anyway aperture wise which gives it I think I was on about 1 1.6 per second so it's giving a good sense of motion in the water anyway uh, especially because it's flowing so fast you don't need a very slow shutter speed to capture that motion um, 
I could use a polarizer, but I don't know. I quite like it how it is really. Um, plus at 11 mil, I haven't yet bought a wide angle filter adapter. So at 11 mil, it does start to vignette a bit. Um, so that's maybe yes and another thing to invest in at some point soon. But the images are coming out nice and sharp. Um, obviously the water isn't coming out sharp, but the features in the boulders and the moss are coming out pretty well. Uh, right, finished my cup of tea. Um, I'm gonna have a little wander around, have a look for some more compositions. Here again, I'm doing another focus stack. That's mainly because I think when you're shooting at a wide angle, everything can just seem really small in the picture. So you need some sort of foreground interest. So again here, just turn around. I'm using this boulder down here, again with nice green moss all over it. That is my foreground interest. So that's my nearest focus point. And then I love this little waterfall here. All the rock that's rushing down. I'm not sure if it's some sort of maybe shale or something like that. Or mudstone. But you can see it. It's all step. It's not one smooth rock, it's all stepped up, which I think is pretty cool. So I might switch lenses in a second and get a closer look at that as well. One thing I love about coming to waterfalls like this is all the little pools that you get and within them you'll almost always have some of this foam circling around. Um, with that I am using my six stop filter to try and show the patterns the motion of that foam on the top of the water. Um, I did try it without the filler, but it wasn't really working for me. So you know, I'll point out, on these shots where I'm trying to just show the movement in the foam on the water surface, I am using my polarizing filter just to take the glare off the water surface, which you can probably see on this camera. So it shows just the white of the foam against the much darker brown background of the water. Remember my handy hint from last week or the week before. You find a cat. On long exposures, it's crucial. Right, I'm fairly happy. I've had a few, I think, 
decent compositions from this waterfall, Lum Hole it's called. Um, gonna head up back to the van, have a bit of lunch, and then head on to the next location. Um, I'll probably do a separate vlog for each location while I'm in this neck of the woods. So I'm still yet to think where I'm next going, but I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so for now, so I'm.